Hello and welcome to this tutorial. I will show you how you can set up a vehicle AI. So it's pretty easy to so just use the selected template vehicle that comes with the Unreal Engine. So let's create a project for that. So within the project, as you can see, it's the vehicle template. You can drive around. Okay. So, but we want to set up an AI version of that. So, let's delete something. So, we go to the sedan, so that's the player character. You can duplicate that and call it AR car, something like that. Okay, so if you go into here, we can easily delete everything because we want to set up an AI. So, Let's delete all these components, all these functions, all these variables. So, what we want to do now is when the player start the game, the AI should be just moving forward. So just for the begin, begin play. So, and then when we take a look on the original, um, here's the steering input function and the throttle input function. So we can just copy and paste this one into the AI version and remove the input flex. And when you now do a um, sequence for the input on both sides, then we can set up the steering like let's say one and also here one and when we compile and save this and put now the AI into the world and click play it will yeah just drive in circles yeah nothing impressed right now but yeah for the beginning it's okay so but we want that the AI follow a path, so like a road. In this case, just a path that we paint. Okay, for this it's pretty easy. Um, we just say blueprint class. So right click blueprint class. So let's say actor. We call this path. So and it's pretty easy what we give the path. It's only spline. Yeah, that's it. So when we now put the path into the world, we can create a um, path for it. So we, let's say, should be moving right here, make a curve, drive around, and yeah, comes back here. Okay, yeah, looks good. Okay, great. So let's go back to the AI. So, what we want to do now is that the AI car follow the path. So, how we do that? So, we create another function, say get path, and we need an um, input one, that is the splines, and it will be a path so let's do a path object reference to an array. And we need an output that will be the float. And the float will be the, the staring. So let's say staring. Okay. So and then you have to change this from array to single, the output. Okay, then we say get a copy 
find tangent closest to word location spline. Put it down here. Get actor location and put that inside here. Set this to world. Then we can normalize this. Then we can say vector oh, vector multiplied with float and put this to 500. Then we say vector plus vector and put the get actor location inside this one. Okay, and from spline we go to find location close to word location, set this to world, put this one to word location, and then again from get actor location we say find look at rotation, put the return value into target, from here we say delta rotator, then get actor rotation, put this one into here, right click on return value, split struct pin, from the Z we go to map range clipped and set this to minus 90, 90, mi oh, minus 1 and 1. The return value goes to staring and yeah, compile, save, that is the function. So we now get go back to the event graph because we want to call the function. So we unplug this one and we say event tick get all actors of class, select our path, then we call our function, so get path, put the out actors into splines, call the function and the staring into staring. Okay, compile, save, let's see. And as you can see, the car is following the path that we have made it and yeah, looks great, wonderful. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and if you have any question please let me know and yeah, goodbye.